Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, The Kids Me, and I am back again with another video. In this video, as a longtime member of Struggle Writing University, I am proudly coming to show y'all a DIY step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do boho knotless braids on yourself. We're going to save you a little bit of coin, sis. So the hair that I'm going to be using for the curls is going to be 100% human hair. It is from YG Wigs. I do have three bundles of their 20 inch bulk water wave hair as you can see me showing you on the screen the hair is super thick as well as soft and i love the fact that the hair did not have any bad smell or anything to it it was easy for you to separate and use in your boho braids now with this, you are going to need some synthetic hair. Although your curls are human hair, you do need synthetic hair to complete the braids. I'll have a product list down in the description box below for you. Just showing you real quick how easy it is to separate the hair. I also purchased a braiding rack from Amazon, super cheap. I definitely think that that's something that you should get because I was able to, to separate the hair beforehand to make the braiding process really easy. But you'll see me here just separating the hair, super easy. When I tell y'all this hair was amazing to work with i didn't receive any tangling at all this is the braiding rack me showing you it i have at the top i have the curls and then at the bottom i do have the synthetic braiding hair that we're going to be using again it's going to be down in the description box below now i didn't show y'all my parting because it was going to be this video was going to be entirely too long so i'll put the video down in the description box starting that i did for my hair but i wanted to show y'all the technique that i was doing for my particular braids i wanted to see more curls and braids so on each braid i added maybe like five to six pieces of curly hair as well on the ends i added curly hair as well all right so we're going to go ahead and get started with the tutorial as you can see, I am going to take a section of my hair and I'm going to part it into three. And that is going to be the three strands that we're going to need to plait the hair. Plait, braid, same thing. So you'll see me just plaiting my hair down just a little bit. Honestly, I don't even know what the count is, but you only need to do it no more than six times. Then you're going to take a piece of your synthetic braiding hair and you're going to put it in between two pieces of your natural hair like you see me doing here. You're going to braid three times. And once you do that, you'll see that when you get to the middle section, you'll have one side that has the synthetic hair with your natural hair. Then you have a piece in the middle that don't have any hair to it at all. You're going to go ahead and add the synthetic hair with that one. And then you're going to braid it down. Hopefully the visuals match what I'm saying so that it'll make sense. So now all three sections of your hair has the hair to it and you're going to continue braiding. Then whenever you feel like it, to be honest, I started from the top because again, I wanted my curly pieces to be full. I went ahead and started adding the curly pieces in. The trick to adding the curly pieces in is making sure the straight piece of the curly hair is what you're going to be braiding into your braid and making sure you use some type of clip or some type of way to some type of way to keep the curl out of the actual braid so that it won't get tangled in there while you're braiding. When it comes to the curly pieces, you definitely want to make sure you're putting at least a fourth of them, a fourth of the hair into the actual braid because if not, then the hair is going to slip out. Yeah. 
and you're just gonna keep braiding it all the way down to the end and adding as many curls as you would like it's really just up to you and what you want to do again you only use two pieces of the synthetic hair you don't need any more of the synthetic hair and then when I get to the ends I am going to add a curly piece to the ends now with this curly piece you're going to actually feed this hair in like you did the synthetic hair and you're gonna braid it so you're gonna actually braid the curls in on the end you're not gonna leave them hanging like the other curls you're gonna braid it all the way into the braid like you see me doing here and then when we're done I'm gonna show you how I cut the straight pieces off the straight pieces of the hair we're gonna tie the actual braid at the end and then we're going to glue it with some nail glue so we can make sure that the braid is secure And with the nail glue, you want to be really careful. With it can turn white, so try not to rub your hands on it. Because I think if it gets um, any type of oil on it, it'll turn the white residue. So you just want to avoid that. I did have a few pieces that that happened to me from me rubbing my hands through it. And you'll see here. I'm just gonna take the scissors. I'm gonna cut the straight pieces off. And I'm also going to go along the strand of the braids and kind of cut some of those flyaways away as well. And then there you have it. There is your knotless braids. Again, I'm a proud of Struggle Birding University. I still need more practice, but it's not too bad for the first time. And I saved myself $400 within the process. So I'm going to show you again exactly what I'm doing. And then, of course, I'm going to give you a full review and look of this style.
right y'all as y'all can see this is going to be the finished look of these diy boho knotless braids when i tell y'all i am so shocked i am too shocked that i have done this i have always labeled myself as a part of a struggle braiding university if you watch my videos then you know and then i'm pretty sure you already heard me say that numerous times throughout this video but to just see my growth and my braiding is literally shocking to me and i think one thing that i love so much about these braids is going to be the curls yeah knotless braids are amazing they're nice they're braids like you know the a black girl in her braids is always going to be a thing but whoever came out with this boho style to add the curls to the braid chef kiss i think it elevates the style times a hundred okay and these are beautiful curls that i was able to receive from yg wigs it literally just puts the icing on the cake so one thing i didn't get on camera is after i finish washing my hair i'm gonna upload and show you what the hair looked like as soon as i braided the last braid really beautiful curls looks great however I wanted to make sure I got the curls super defined and in their natural state. So what I went ahead and did was I jumped in the shower and I washed and conditioned my braids. That's just something that I like to do uh, to really just strip whatever is in the hair from processing uh, with the synthetic hair as well as the human hair. And to me, when you wash, it's just like you washing your bundles. Like once you wash your bundles, it literally takes your curls to a whole nother level. And that's exactly what it did with this style. Of course, washing it and conditioning the hair as well, it helps with getting those little straggly pieces that may have may not have been caught in the braid. Like I did have a lot of, when I ran my hands through my hair, a lot of the curly pieces coming out. And that has nothing to do with the actual hair in general. It just has everything to do with me gripping the hair. Maybe I didn't grip it in certain spots as much as I should have. So um, I definitely highly, highly suggest that be an actual thing that you do. And I wanted to show y'all on camera that this is me coming on screen with no product in this hair at all. This is the hair uh, after it air dry. I didn't put a blow dryer or anything on it. Well, back up. I did put a little bit of bio silk oil on the hair, but other than that, there's no mousse. There's no styling foam. There's no none of that. This is literally straight out the shower while it was washed and conditioned and air dried. And this is what we have. I love it. Of course, with the boho, we got the flexibility. You can put it up. You can put it down. You can put it in a high ponytail, low ponytail. It's really just up to you and what you want to do. The possibilities are endless, okay? So, yeah, y'all. I am going to put all of the information down in the description box below for YG wigs so that you can get your hands on some of this hair. And hopefully, this tutorial has helped you create this style yourself. No more excuses, ladies. To all my girls that's been saying all this long time that they've been a part of Struggle Braiding University like me, put your money where your mouth is. Let me see if y'all been practicing because we're trying to elevate. We're trying to get better. And I can definitely tell that I have been getting better Hopefully by next year, I'll have been on graduate and out of Struggle Braiding University. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> but thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.